Now we're into the second phase of the movement progression because the hitter has mastered phase one. So we're going into the show progression. So everything is the same with your setup. Heel on the line, rack under the armpits as high as they can, pulling back. <clears throat> you go ahead into the stride, and what you're going to see is my stomach and belly button is still facing this way. My shoulders are also facing this way. So there's no separation between my hips and my shoulders, okay? So what I want to teach the kid to do is as they're landing, they want to open their belly button up the third baseline if they're a lefty and up the first baseline if they're a righty while they maintain their shoulder position up top. So a lot of people are doing a lot of drilling now where they're really coiling up top and they're going like this and a lot of those people are hitting off a tee. Well, I can't see the camera. I can't see the, the mirror. I can't see a picture when I do that. And that's called false separation. Real separation or the show position looks like this, where you slowly go into your move and then you use your abdominal muscles and lower back and you pull the pelvis open from above, all right? Now, my shoulder is still straight. My heels are on the line. I'm in good position, but you can see my belly button and my pelvis have turned open while my shoulders have stayed in position. Now, I'm able to keep my shoulders in position because I am pulling back on the rack with my back arm, okay? So when I say the show position, I want to show my stomach and belly button to the pitcher, the front of my pants. You want to see the stripe on my pants turn away, and you also maybe want to see this little flash of the rack by my upper back, all right? So a show position looks like this. The show movement looks like this. Now, if the hitter is doing it wrong, what they're going to see, what you're going to see is this. They're going to go here and they're going to fly open and their chest is going to show here. We don't want that. We just want the stomach. So you turn your pelvis, the bony structure of your pelvis, from above, not below. So another way to work on that, I call this the toothbrush drill. So my belly stays right in this tube. And as I, I like I'm brushing my teeth. You can do this in the morning and at night, and I've shown this before. You should be able to turn your belly without having any hip slide. Turn your belly button open. Or the other way. Without any shoulder movement. That's one of the hardest things for my pros to do is figure out how to control their pelvis from above. Most men, they want to push their pelvis out of the way with their back leg. And that really limits your power and your turn distance that's possible. We want to not only get you to turn faster when you hit, but we want to increase the strength, speed, and range of motion in the turn in anything you do. So being able to turn your pelvis from above will help you throw harder, hit harder, everything related to generating rotational force in baseball or softball. So again, the show position, heels on the line, showing your stomach, pulling back on the rack. Just like that.